Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing the simplest way to lock and unlock levels through level progression only using two scripts. These scripts can be downloaded in the description below. So what I got here is a basic setup of scenes. A menu scene, a level selection scene with buttons that lead to another scene depending on what level you choose, and a player that moves around but doesn't progress. The layout that I have in the build settings is main menu, level selection, then all the levels you wish to play in. You gotta make sure that this is the order that you have them in or else this won't work. Firstly, we're going to start in the level selection scene. We're going to want to create an empty game object and call it game manager and then add a script on it called level selection. In this script, we're going to be using unity engine.ui. We won't need the update method and then we're going to want to create a public button array calling it level buttons. In the start method, we're going to create an int called level at and have it equal to playerprefs.get int with the string level at and have the int of 2 since the level selection is the second scene in the build index. Now we're going to do a for loop where i is less than level buttons dot length and create an if statement where if i plus 2 is greater than level at, the level buttons array interactable is equal to false. When we go back into our inspector, we should just add all the level buttons in the array based on the amount of levels you have. In my case, I have 6 levels. You should see that level 1 is the only available button and that all the other levels are locked. To unlock the other levels, you need to go where you progress from one level to another and make it a trigger. In my case, all my levels have a plate at the end with a trigger collider and then add a script to it called move to next level. Since this script handles changing scenes when you trigger it, it will use Unity Engine.scene management. We're then going to create a public int called next scene load and in the start method, we're going to make it equal to the active scene build index plus one since we're trying to get the level after the one we're currently in. Using an on trigger enter, if the trigger object hits a game object tag player, which was the sphere I was moving in the game scene, we're going to move to the next level by doing a scene manager dot load scene next scene load. Since we used get in earlier, we're also going to have to set it. This is done by using if next scene load is greater than player prefs dot get in level at, then we're going to say player prefs dot set in with the string level at and the int value of next scene load. When I play the first level, you can see the next level we're going to load is the build index 3, which if we go to it, it should be level 2. If you were to test it now, you can still see that the other levels are locked, but if I go past level 1, I move on to level 2. Going back into the level selection, as you can see, level 2 is unlocked and you're able to play level 2. I can keep going until I unlock the rest of the levels or replay previous levels that have already been unlocked. We can't just leave the final level of your game with this script unfinished, so we'd need to modify it or else it'd cause some errors. This is very simple to do. Going back to the move to next level script, we're going to create an if statement where if the active scene build index is equal to whatever your last level is in the build settings, so for me it's 7, we're going to create a win screen or maybe a debug.log. Then we'll create an else statement and paste our previous code into there. Lastly, to reset all your levels back to 1, just write the line of code playerprefs.delete all. This was done by making a new script in the main menu and having an input.get button down and every time I press the key, it will delete the prefs. This can be modified to suit your game where there will be reset when you quit or reach a certain level. That is all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.